It might come as no surprise that you can get Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bars on board the Disney Cruise Line ships, but did you know there are two different ways they can be presented to you? And for some, it might make all the difference in the world. Hi Disney Cruisers, I'm Ashley. Today we're talking about ice cream. Not just any ice cream, but a Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bar. The exact same ice cream bar that you can find in Disney parks, you can get on the ship and it's included in your fare, which means you already paid for it, so you might as well eat 25 of them. There are two different ways you can receive this Mickey bar. Unfortunately, you cannot just walk up on the deck and grab a Mickey ice cream bar out of a bin and eat it whenever you want. The first way you can get the ice cream bar is through the main dining room. After dinner, you can always get a Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bar. It'll come to you a little bit differently though than it does in the parks. If you order it in the main dining room, and you can, it's on the children's menu, but anybody could order one. It'll come to you unwrapped and in a bowl. Since it is in a bowl, they then put sprinkles on it and sometimes chocolate syrup. I am a very picky eater and I do not like milkshakes that are melted. I do not like Mickey bars that are soft. When it comes to you in the main dining room, it is on the softer side. It is still frozen, it is not melting, but it is not the hard Mickey bar that you're used to getting right out of the freezer at Disney World. This is good for kids, it's in a bowl, they can eat it with a fork, but we've even received some where if you pick it up from the stick, the Mickey bar will kind of fall off the stick and land in the bowl. So it's not one that you really can pick up and hold and eat. So also if you're wanting that perfect picture of your kid holding the Mickey bar, the main dining room is probably not the place you're going to want to go for that. Now if you do want to get that perfect picture or if you want one that's more traditional like getting the ones in the park, then you'll want to get your Mickey bar through room service. Room service is 24 hours. Sometimes if you get it at 2 a.m. it will take till 3.30 a.m. for you to receive it. Don't ask me how I know that. But when you do, it'll come frozen, solid, and still in the wrapper. So if you wanna see the Mickey on the wrapper, if you wanna unwrap it, if you want it to be solid still, then the room service way is the way to go. However, remember that the room service team, their tips are not included on your daily gratuities, so you will want to be able to tip them when they come and drop it off. We always just carry a bunch of ones and we usually tip $1 per item. Both of the Mickey bars you still can get for free in both places. Some of you might be thinking, well, that's a bummer that it's just at room service. You know, we just have to eat it in our room, but you don't have to eat it in your room. You just receive it in your room, but you can go wherever. Remember, the cruise ship is your oyster. I hate oysters. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. One downside to having all you can eat Mickey bars on the cruise line is that when you then go to Disney World afterwards, now that they're like, what, almost $6 for a Mickey bar, you never ever are going to want to buy one at the parks again because you're gonna be like, oh, I'll just eat all the ones that I want on the cruise for free and then I'll save money. Thank you so super a ton, a lot, a bunch for clicking on this video. I will catch you in the next one. Toodaloo cruisers.